place a piece of carton on top of the palette, this to avoid puncturing of the liner. Connect the VQM unit to a 200-230V power supply with a slow circuit breaker minimum C60. Connect the VQM unit to compressed air. Set the impulse sealer on the correct time. Test beforehand between 5 to 7 seconds. Stretch the film of the filling spout. Ensure the overlapping film is somewhere in the middle. Apply 4 zigzag overlapping seals. And overlap one horizontal seal. Seal the filling spout of the liner inside the big bag. Make sure the sealer does not burn through the film. Test the seal with seal check fluid. The fluid should not pass through the seal. Choose the protocol you need for the commodities and save it so you can use it again the next time. In case you flush with CO2 multiple times, please ensure to connect the tube for the exhaust of the VPM unit. Ensure this exhaust tube brings the exhaust air outside of the building or to any other place which is well ventilated on CO2 levels. Elevated CO2 levels inside a room can cause dangerous conditions for workers. Once all the settings are programmed, click on the green start button to start the process of vacuuming the bag and flushing the external gas, if MAP protocol is chosen. When the VQM unit is ready with the vacuum process, the unit stops automatically and you can disconnect the head of the valve. If you wish to stop the process before it is finished, you can manually stop the procedure by pressing the red stop button. Connect the unit to an external gas supply. CO2 is recommended for fumigation purposes. Now you can start the vacuum or the map process. Close the valve. To make sure the bag is under the right CO2 concentration, you may measure it with a needle sensor. Now the bag is ready for storage or transport. 